After that alleged mass shooting plot was stopped, Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney says new gun reform passed by Congress doesn't go far enough. I'm telling you right now, we need more. And so if members of Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, want to pat themselves on the back and think they've done something, come to urban areas like Richmond. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is digging into what the federal law will change in Virginia. She's live for us in the Digital Center with those details. Jackie. Yeah, now, well, President Joe Biden recently signing what many are calling the most significant federal gun reform in decades. Lori Haas with the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence says because of this bipartisan bill passed by Congress, Virginia can apply for more money to carry out its existing red flag law that allows guns to be taken if a court says a person is a threat to themselves or others. Phil Van Cleve with the Virginia Citizens Defense League is opposed to that and to Congress taking away guns from dating partners convicted of misdemeanor demeanor domestic abuse for five years. That goes further than Virginia's current law, but advocates say it may be hard to enforce without more action at the state level. Big picture, I asked Haas and Van Cleve what this means for Virginia. It's a step forward and a step in the right direction. Is it enough? No. We need more laws and we need stronger laws. To gun owners in Virginia, this law really uh, isn't going to have much effect at all that you're going to notice in Virginia. Now, Congress is also enhancing background checks for gun buyers under the age of 21, requiring states to check juvenile and mental health records and give more time to investigate potential issues before a firearm is sold. I'm told Virginia already has one of the best background check systems in the country. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, A News.